Hey guys, this is Corey with Everyday Man, doing everyday reviews for the everyday person. So, during all of this COVID stuff, when we was all stuck in our houses for months and months, I was going a little bit stir crazy. So I decided the best way to do any social distancing would be on the seat of this Harley Davidson right here. Well, we got the 2008 Road Glide, the 105th anniversary edition. And uh, I like to do a lot of music streaming from Pandora. So what I use is an FM transmitter plugged in right here to my uh, cigarette lighter. And that way I can, I can tune in my radio to that FM transmitter and we can use the phone to play some music. Now what I didn't have was a handlebar phone mount for my phone. So I was just using my old compartments up there on the road line. And I got kind of tired of every time somebody trying to text me or call me Trying to reach into that little compartment there while you're riding is really not the safest thing to do. And then trying to do it and fumble around with your phone, I didn't really like it. So I decided I want, wanted a handle bar mount for my, my, my cell phone. So what I bought was this Ram mount X mount. Uh, I bought the handle bar mounting kit and it's a really excellent phone holder. Uh, I don't think we need to do a whole review on it because there's just plenty of them out there. Ram mounts are great phone mounts for anything. I've used them for cup holders, for four wheelers, I've used them for all kinds of things. And this phone mount is no different. It's a great product. So after I started using my handlebar mount, now I've got my phone hooked up, I'm playing my music, I'll turn on Waze. I love to use the Waze app. It's great for knowing where construction is, it's great for knowing where that cop is that's hiding behind the next turn up ahead, and I love it. But what happens is when you're using your phone screen, you're running Waze, you're running Pandora, it quickly eats up a phone battery. Now, there is a, a USB plug right here on my little FM transmitter that I could easily plug in my phone charger to and plug the phone in going down the road, and it works. But what concerns me is, is these phone wires are so cheap nowadays with the vibrations all these old Harleys do. Uh, it was, it was, it'll damage your phone wire really quickly. And what concerns me too is actually loosening and damaging the plug of my phone. So I wanted to find a solution to do some wireless charging on my motorcycle. And what I found is this Moto Wolf wireless charger. It, uh, it fits great. It's just a 3M sticky tape on the back of this charger and it fits great on the front of that RAM, that RAM mount. Um, now it's supposed to be a fast charger. They claim it's a 10 watt charger. And, um, and I'll tell you from my experience, with the Waze app running and my Pandora running, it doesn't charge up real fast, but it also doesn't drain my battery either. It will slowly increase the phone as I ride along. And it, it really works out great, guys. It, um, it allows me to use my Waze. I can see it on the handlebars. I don't have to worry about having the phone plugged in. I got my tunes. And uh, so far, it hasn't failed me at all. And what I did, I actually have it wired up. All these tour bikes, they have a... Um, an accessory plug underneath the seat and I have it wired up. In fact, let me show you how it works. So I got a Galaxy S10 Plus and that's what we're filming this on. This is my wife's Note 9. Both very large phones. In fact, hers is a bit thicker than mine. And you'll see even with the thickness of this charger, the RAM mount still holds it fine. This charger is supposed to be a 1.5 millimeters. So all you do, you mount it in here, mount it into your RAM mount, and we're gonna turn on the, uh, the ignition. And you'll see the red light come on here in a second after everything boots up. And we'll see it down here. We know her phone is charging. It works great. If I turn off my accessory switch right here, I don't know if you guys can see it. If I turn that off, this red light will go out. The phone's no longer charging. So, as I'm going down the road, playing my tunes, looking at my, uh, looking at my ways, it's now safe to see who's calling me, see if I need to pull over, if I can choose to ignore it. I love it. Um, and that's about it, guys. I wanted to give you guys an idea of how to put a wireless charger on an old motorcycle. And it's working out really good for me, guys. So, till I see y'all next time, that's Corey with Everyday Man.